And I think it ties into another uh, important takeaway from uh, the survey. And what are the top uh, cloud design principles that the operators are looking at? And uh, there was naturally a, a wide array of options, all of them you know, compelling in their own way. However, the top three that came out of that uh, was, uh, first of all, elastic uh, deployments, being able to have uh, that built in ability to meet uh, the needs of the uh, the customer, but also the context. Uh, and you think, okay, well, you know, shouldn't it just be a, a matter of scaling? And actually, yeah, most of it will be like uh, being able to scale more, you know, by uh, having elastic scalability, uh, the operator uh, can, you know, bring on more uh, customers quickly, can, you know, bring on more applications rapidly, et cetera. But it's also about, again, that context, you know, for example, uh, we talked uh, about uh, the stadium, uh, use case, you know, uh, where uh, you have, you know, 50,000 or 80,000 people all gathered at once. And certainly there's going to be a surge in demand right. uh, for bandwidth and other uh, policy and intelligence capabilities right. to make that experience uh, optimal for those who are subscribing to that. But as we know, uh, that event ends and then suddenly, you know, yeah. the bandwidth requirements uh, get throttled back. And it, what you really don't want is that legacy issue of what was called stranded bandwidth, you know, like you had to build out X amount of bandwidth with to that stadium to enable those capabilities. And well, that's where it stood, even when the stadium wasn't being used for long stretches of time. Right. That certainly came out during the pandemic, right. uh, where you know that, that would have been uh, even more of a liability. And so uh, it's that elastic uh, deployment capability. Uh, most of it will be upscaling or uh, you know being able to bring on more, but it's also about right sizing and being able to address the uh, contextual experience. The other uh, 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 top three design uh, principle is microservices. And right. so we need to uh, address that. That's also uh, aligned with enabling network slicing. And what's important here, it's enabling the operator uh, to use uh, containers, to use uh, Kubernetes uh, orchestration uh, capabilities to fundamentally uh, create a service when uh, the customer wants it, or to be able to serve a vertical more specifically. So you can create from the existing network a, a specific service that meets the needs of, say, a manufacturing plant, that right. meets the needs of a, a mining uh, operation, and so on and so forth. So I think this is going to be a big difference maker as to why you know this is going to be worthwhile, why the operators are going to be essential in the uh, digital ecosystem uh, within the 5G era. And the third one is our friend automation. Uh, you know, I think we've seen uh, how this uh, can be better enabled. Part of it is just uh, building into the applications and building into the processes automation. Once you know, tasks that were done manually are now automated, and this again, this can help the entire workforce. But it also uh, shows why there's so much uh, investment uh, focus on AI and. ML capabilities, because those are going to be the things that will enable uh, this automation, certainly on a mass scale basis, on an agile basis right. and so forth. There's just no way around that. So it's good to see that being tied in and our uh, you know viewpoint and on our perspective on the BSS to cloud journey.